Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Make a love shout out all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you're new to my channel, please... One... Subscribe. Two... Like. Share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three. Like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Four. Subscribe. All right. Our lesson for today is how to formulate simple statistical instruments. And this is for grade 7 mathematics and all other mathematics students out there. And of course, everyone needs this and it is practical, okay? So, I hope you will learn the disguise. So, look, looking back to our lesson, so aside from being classified as qualitative or quantitative, variables can also be classified according to how they are categorized, counted, or measured. We have nominal scale. So, this is category, characteristics by data consisting of names, levels, or categories only. So the data cannot be arranged in an ordering scheme. Ordinal level, so this involves data that may be arranged in some order, but differences between data values either cannot be determined or are meaningless. Interval level, this is the same as the ordinal level with uh, additional property that can be determined as meaningful amounts of difference between data data that that at this level may lock on adherent zero starting point then we have the ratio level is an interval level modified to include inherent zero starting point okay. so Statistical instrument is any process that aim at describing a phenomenon by using any instrument or device. However, the result may be used as a controlled tool. Examples of statistical instruments are questionnaires and survey sampling. A questionnaire is a data collection instrument consistent of a series of questions and other prompts for the purpose of gathering information from respondents. The questionnaire was invented by Sir Francis Galton. Liked scale or Likert scale is a series of number rating scale questions which are used to measure responses to a series of carefully developed attitude statements, example via focus group. So do we have the question type and the data type? For question type, we have multiple choice. And of course, the multiple choice, uh, multiple choice scale with word at the end, multiple answer, multiple choice, number field, ranking, and text field. Okay, for uh, multiple choice, uh, the, the data type is nominal or ordinal. No, so for analysis, uh, it is quantitative and non-parametric only. For multiple choice scale with word at the end, so of course this is a scale, uh, it is a parametric or non-parametric. For multiple ans uh, answer or multiple choice, so multiple binary, so it, it's either true or false. So um, it is a treat quantitative, treat its value separately, only have a few. For number field, so this is scale and it is quantitative. For ranking, it is ordinal and it's quantitative, hard to analyze or avoid. So avoid this, no? Text field, so of course it's text and it is qualitative. 
Okay. So question design principle. So make the few questions easy, no? Or for example, demographics, then have your important questions. Leave open or complex questions to the end and avoid very similar questions unless you are constructing scale. So for demographic questions, we have examples, age, gender, level of education, socioeconomic background, religion, and many more, okay? All right, so this is an example. I indicate that in the extent to which you agree or disagree with the statement. So this is an example of um, survey, no? Statistics helps in providing a better understanding and exact description of phenomenon of or na of nature. Oh, so, the choices will be strongly I disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, and strongly agree. So, based on this question number one, so what do you think is your uh, what to what extent with you uh, agree or disagree? Question number two, I actively participate in class discussion during scheduled online class, okay? So, maybe you say always, often, sometimes, rarely, or never, okay? So, it's up to you. Next, we have example number three, um, speaking English or Tagalog. So, so the sample question, if you were a contestant in Miss Universe, would you talk in English or Filipino when you answer questions, the Q&A portion? Oh, if you were asked about what medium of instruction would be used in English mathematics, will you choose English or Tagalog? Okay. If you're an oral speech competitor, for an er oral speech competition, what particular language do you prepare? English or Tagalog? So let us consider questions and study the corresponding questions design principles. Okay, for example, we have smoking in public places should not be abolished. So yes, no, not sure. Now for this, questions and wording would, would be clear and ambiguous avoid double negatives. Like here, no, no not sure. Okay. Mm, avoid noble negative. So maybe you can just pay the remand Now, what percentage of your annual salary do you spend on petrol? So questions should not be too difficult to answer. So this one is easy, no? Okay. So what percent? So for example, petrol is a petroleum, or of course, you if you're using a car, gaano ka? how much of your salary you use for gasoline alone, no? If students were to receive more discount, would uh, be more, which, uh, where would be most appropriate? Restaurants, supermarkets, and bars. Okay. So, this one should exist. All possible options or have residual options as, as other. So, you can, you can write also here other. So, if you, but if you choose only three, na pagpipilian so that it can be no so it's good now let's have some activities here since the class has not yet learned ways to organize present and analyze statistical data so the activity should be kept simple okay develop a statistical instrument given the topic local movies versus international movies so why are you going to choose local movies or international movies? Okay, so for example, in a Rapport promo, you won a free one year pass from your local cinema. You are given the choice to use the pass. So, would you choose local movies or Hollywood movies? Which would you choose? So, yeah, so do the lang pagbipilian, okay? Playing basketball or volleyball? What do you prepare? Playing basketball or volleyball? Algebra lesson or geometry lesson? So it's up to you. Okay. Indian mango or Fuji apple? Hmm. All right. So before I go, I have to for today.
today so just leave a comment okay so subscribe don't forget to subscribe like share okay of course please don't forget to like leave a comment All right so please share to your friends okay and of course okay so for questions and clarifications just write it at the comment section remember gratitude is the best attitude make a little shout out to all the subscribers of course to my students also it's already fourth quarter so please 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 study harder although mahirap siya just bear in mind so all the students out there who are watching my uh, and always uh, following me in my youtube channel always for the mathematics lesson so please uh, leave a comment at the club comment section if you have questions and i'm going to follow up it and answer it for you okay bye bye everyone love you all especially to my loyal friends the organic Mercadas, team yd international and team solid family thank you the f and of course, Tim through this. Love you all, guys. Love you all. Bye bye.